Hello everyone. Dear viewers of my YouTube channel, today my video is dedicated to the famous TV series called, Sherlock. Meet the top 10 interesting facts about him. Friends. Subscribe to my channel, like, leave comments and share videos on social networks. Go. Tenth place. Greg Lestrade's character is a combination of Inspectors Gregson and Lestrade. The books say that the last character's name starts with the letter G, but is never revealed. This is why Sherlock always forgets Lestrade's name. Ninth place. Amanda Abington, who plays Mary Morstan, John Watson's fiance, wife on the series, was Martin Freeman's real longtime partner before they split in 2016. They have two children together. Eighth place. Many of the crew in Sherlock, 2010, are related. Sherlock's parents are actually the parents of actor Benedict Cumberbatch, Wanda Wentham, and Timothy Carlton. Amanda Abington, Mary Morstan, and Martin Freeman, John Watson, were real partners. Producer Sue Wertu is the wife of writer Stephen Moffat and co-producer and writer Beryl Wertu is his mother-in-law. The husband of the writer Mark Gattis is a lawyer in the film Sherlock, Fall in Reichenbach, 2012. Stephen Moffat's son plays Sherlock Holmes as a child in several episodes. Seventh place. Molly Hooper's role has never been in books or short stories and she was meant to be a one-off character to further indicate Sherlock's lack of social skills, especially regarding any romantic encounters. However, Stephen Moffat and other producers liked Louise Brealey's acting so much that they decided to expand on her character. Sixth place. Sherlock occasionally uses a memory technique he calls the Palace of the Mind. This is not an invention of the writers, rather, it is a method of aiding memory that dates back to ancient Rome and is called the method of loci. One of the most famous practitioners in history was the 16th century Italian Jesuit missionary Matteo Ricci, who introduced the method to China. Fifth place. Many versions of the coat Sherlock wears are used in filming but the original used in the pilot was purchased by Mark Gattis, who later gave it to Benedict Cumberbatch as a birthday present. Fourth place. As in the stories of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, the term deduction is misused. Like medical diagnosticians, hunters, and yes, detectives. What Holmes actually uses in a form of inference called abductive thinking, that is neither deductive nor inductive. Third place. Benedict Cumberbatch is distantly related to Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, the author of the original books on Sherlock Holmes. They are 16th cousins, twice removed. And their common ancestor is John of Gaunt. Second place. While John and Sherlock are not the richest people, and Sherlock is often seen on various occasions when he does not pay for his work, Watson's clothing does not reflect this. In fact, his famous black jacket is 750 pounds, his shoes are 175 pounds, his knitted jumper is over 200 pounds, and his watch is a staggering 3,000 pounds. Sherlock's iconic coat also costs £1,750. First place. It was originally filmed as a 60-minute one-off television film. Its value rose to almost unheard of, £1 million. And rumours reached that the BBC would pull the plug and leave it unattended. Instead, they asked Mark Gattis and Stephen Moffat to turn it all into a serial pilot. This will entail lengthening. And they wrote a longer script. But they couldn't bring the same filmmaker back and didn't think the added scenes would match what they were already filming. So they shot the entire pilot. Friends. Thank you all for watching.
I really hope you find this video interesting. I love you all very much. See you later.